Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. As we have started a ETAS tutorial series for analysis, pushover, and also for response spectrum, and um, that is its second lecture. And in our previous lecture, I have shown you that how we'll draw the model for our analysis. And in this video, I'll show you that how we'll uh, define and assign load pattern. So let's start. First of all, I'll open our previous model. So that that is our previous model. And if you're new here, you can watch the previous video. The link are given in description. And also, if you don't know about the basic phenomenon of EDAPS 2016 or EDAPS any version of EDAPS from uh, 15 to 2018, then you can watch the tutorial video the link are given in description so after that I'll go for define load pattern so define first of all go here load pattern and from here they have dead load and live load dead load live load I'll only consider that uh, to load because for response response spectrum or pushover analysis it will take a take the mass source and it will be the hundred percent of dead load and twenty five percent of live load that's why I'll select only the to load so press OK then go here Now we'll go for select object type or you can select from here properties so object type then floor select close so we have select all floor from here we can see it here we have select all floor then we'll assign load so assign shell load uniform load after that for dead load uh, the building will consider the dead load as its self weight and uh, for other load I will give 25 PSF then apply after that select live load and click here pre-select and I'll give here suppose 50 pound per uh, pound per square feet so again apply and press ok so we have defined our load and uh, the one thing again I'm telling as I also have told you in our previous video that when you do that I'm just here showing you only that how we'll do response spectrum analysis and also pushover analysis but for your case you have to define a b load like wind load earthquake load a b load perfectly put your requirement also uh, load combination after that you will go for that analysis and as uh, everything i have discussed in our previous all lecture that's why i'm not going to discuss that at now now okay now I'll go for next term and we have defined our load so now we'll select again pre-select and we'll go here uh, assign shell and uh, floor auto mesh option we have to mesh our floor then select here from here 12 inch I will uh, mesh our floor for on fit apply ok then we'll go for our 
response spectrum procedure and uh, here I have done everything that is required for our load pattern uh, creating model everything are done till now now I'll go for response spectrum procedure so first of all for response spectrum analysis and first of all I will go define here mass source and from here we have to define mass source mass source 1 modify and from here click here and untick that to so and uh, after that from here dead load multiply will be by 1 and for live load it will be multiplied by 0 0.25 previously I've told you that uh, for dead load it will be 100% of its self load or self load and for live load it will be to, uh, 0 0.25 0 0.25 means 25% so then press ok again press ok so we have done our masters then we will go for define model case and from here model case we will go for modify model and here we have to select eigen for model we will select eigen then from here use p delta setting from here use p delta setting and then we will go here and from here we will select non irritative based on mass mass we will select that then press ok after that we have to change here uh, maximum number of models maximum number sorry maximum number of modes what is that uh, that is the third times of total summation of third times of degree of freedom so I will consider uh, 3 degree of freedom in every story so we have 5 story building that's why it will be 5 into 3 I mean 15 so number of uh, maximum number of modes will be 15 and minimum will be 1 then click here ok after that press ok so our uh, model case define ok then we have to define our function for response spectrum so we'll go for define here function response spectrum and from here we'll select our code you can select any code according to country that required for your country so I'll select UBC 94 you can select any code and you have to give um, data according to code suppose if I select ASCE 710 then add new function so from here you have to give damping ratio and here you have to give the name a function name and then you have to give her 0 0.2 second spectral axle Excel SS S1 long period transition period site class and uh, here all value you have to provide according to code this for earthquake analysis or response spectrum analysis so close that I'll select UBC 94 then add new function and from here seismic zone coefficient I'll give her 0 0.25 uh, I'm just giving a any random value then I'm giving her soil type suppose 1 like that 2 3 I'm just giving soil type 1 then done 
and for your country code you have to select that uh, value and you have to provide value according to requirement so press ok then delete that sorry I'll modify that I'll give that name you will see 94 you can give response spectrum function you can give any name so press ok then ok we'll go for define and here the important thing function damping ratio it will be 5% so 0 0.05 press ok then ok so it's done and uh, it's okay till now and in our next video I'll show you that how we'll define our load case for response, response spectrum analysis and also uh, for our uh, function for that so it's still as to connect it till next video and if you have any problem or confusion then contact to me the link are um, mailer given in description so thank you thank you very much